Nose first. Nose in front game here. On. And the game has just turned. Hybrex had an opportunity for a 3-1 lead not so long ago, and now he's 3-2 down. 100. Well, we said there was a question mark about whether Dave Pallet would play as well as he had done in his first couple of matches, as Kim Hybrex looks to fill this up and does so. 180 number two for Hybrex. Three in total for the match. But it's actually the Belgian who's not hitting the heights that he set so far this weekend. Still time for that to change. He's muttering to himself, Kim Hybrex. 96. And try and G himself up. He's at his best when he's got a bit of bounce about him, a bit of aggression. 100. Last dart treble just keeps him in touch, but he has lost the darts in this one. And Hybrex back in that treble bed. 100. I thought he might go for the 25 or ball with that last dart. Would have left him Shanghai. Now then, Pallet, maximum here. 140. Just the 140. 25. That's the 25 he wanted. Now it's treble 20 for tops. 93. Well, he suspects Pallet will need this. Otherwise, Hybrex will break back. I mean, he went treble 14. I think that was the wise choice because he's not really worried the bullseye when he's gone for it. It no, is a bigger target anyway. 46. Oh, 56 remaining for Pallet, but Hybrex with three bites at double 16 here. Not been totally convincing on the doubles today. Well, in this match in particular, Hybrex. That looks awkward. That's very awkward. 16. And uh, yeah, he's come inside the wire. Do you require 56? And Pallet here for a 4 2 lead. Tops he wants. And that was some way underneath, so perhaps. Do you require 16? Not surprisingly, the occasion getting to him. To an extent here, Hybrix just has to step over because again it's pitched in slightly awkwardly, but no problem with the second. And Hybrix breaks back straight away for a three-all score. Well, he was first to double in that leg, Kim Hybrix, as he broke back immediately. But he had to rely on Pallet missing a couple. So a best of five match effectively now. Hybrex still with this advantage, heading to the 19s because that first arm was a little bit precarious. Pallet has beaten Hybrex before. He won their first meeting, but that was back in 2013. 100. And the three since then have all gone Hybrex way. And quite convincingly as well, he's won them 6-2 or 6-3. So Hybrex now looking to make it four on the trot. And he's hit his third 180 of this match. 170th of the tournament. 60. Vincent van der Voort and 100. Well, that match for the right to face either Rodriguez or Van Gerwen. Still plenty of mileage left in this match, though. On a knife edge, this one. 140. Hybrex on his throw, down to a finish. One, two, three. Well, that leaves. Yeah, 46. 46. 91. And he'll leave himself double 16. Not been brilliant on the doubles. Either man, really. So, Pallet, if he sets this up. Well, he's fired in the 180 just to try and 32. get the crowd to make a bit of noise, I think. And it matters not because Hybrex silences the crowd. Game on. But it was worth obviously doing from Pallet just to try and put Kimmy under a bit of pressure. I'll tell you what, anybody who bet on the number of 180s would be happy to see him go for it. 59. Just 59. Pallet already in a strong position here. Oh, and very 
helpfully running to pick Kim's flights up for Kim him. Kim didn't realise he'd dropped them. There's no friends on the hockey, Dave Pallet. Come on. Needs to be more ruthless. Kick Could his be flights ruthless away. here. <laughs> Whoa! Carla, oh, maybe. Nice. Yeah, the nice guy gets his reward there. His third 180 of the match. Hybrex has weighed in with three as well. 100. And this is just coming up to a nice simmering point now, this match. Uh, Kim knows, though. Two holes a throw, and that's enough for him. Alex has got to find a break from somewhere. He did break high breaks, but then he's broken back immediately. 80. The thing is, though, win or lose it, Pallet can take an awful amount from this weekend, as well as a check for three and a half thousand pounds guaranteed. Could be more if he wins this 95. one. Would be more if he uh, emerges from this one. But he's had some big wins under his belt. The one against Klassen in particular. Jamie Cave and a tough opponent in the opening round too. Have you recorded 40? Oh. Double 16. And that will do a little bit of ugly way of going about it, but it is four apiece. And Dave Pallet has given himself an opportunity, but Kim Hybrex is not going to give him a sniff if he starts off the legs on his throw like that. Maximum number four for Hybrex, seven for the match. Yeah, really cruel, not cruel, but just another reminder of a Pallet about what a tough company is in here. Gets himself back to the level at 4 4, and then Hybrex just rams in a 180 just to give him 100. another reminder of what he's involved with here. Oh, look at that, he's got the 100 average pallet, but it, it may not be enough. At the minute, it isn't. 140 keeps him level pegging with Hybrex in this one, but the Belgian has the throw. He's outscored him. He's got exactly the same finishing stats as him, 4 out of 14, but. Doesn't matter unless he can find this break, and this will give him a chance. Dave Pallet, he's not going to lie down. It is not just, oh, I've made my first quarter final, that'll do. What a weekend I've had. He wants more. Of course he does, and he's capable of it too. Four 180s apiece, high quality encounter now. An 11 dart break of throw, and to go within one leg of the semi finals needs double A. Gets double A, a 12 darter for Dave Pallet. Kim Ibrex now, it's him who has to find the break. Just wonder what's going through the mind of Dave Pallet right now. He would love a routine, I say routine, but a, a fairly straightforward 14, 15 dart leg hit. Anything better than that would be a dream for him. As long as he stays in front of Hybrex here, if he can press ahead, all well and good. Well, look, we saw what happened in his game with Alan Norris. Hey, I'm not predicting yeah. anything, yeah. I'll just say. Norris had nine match darts. Pallet had seven before we finally hit one. We have seen some incredible oh, fightbacks this weekend. Hybrex has his nose in front. Pallet needs to find the treble bird. He's not doing so at the minute. 60. Advantage Hybrex. The number 10 seed. Treble 19 has come to his rescue in this leg. He's knocked down to a finish. But he will be soon. Oh, Pallet. Surely not. Well, that'll do. Oh. If he does a Vincent van der Voort and pulls off a mm -hmm. massive ton plus to win it, he'll yeah, have Pallet to just hold his hands up and say, well played. If Pallet could bring in a player on loan at this stage, it could well be Vincent van der Voort. He's found a trouble one with his first dart as well. In Shanghai, so he wants to stay on the 20s. 43. It's just Can the 20, but Kim Hybrex 79 to take us all the way to a deciding leg. 22 left, double and 11 is taken out. Play. Oh, that's just typical, typical Hybrex. He's a real battler. 11 from the final and David Pallet has no time to dwell on that 10th leg. 
he has to just get on with the matter in hand. Who can hold their nerve in this deciding leg? Kim Hybrex, a former winner on the oh, European no, no, Tour, a former you. major finalist, of course. He's got the experience. Can he make it count? 60. Just the 60 for Pallet, and already he's under the gun. Hybrex looking to streak off into the distance, and he's back in that trouble bed again. This is phenomenal stuff from Hybrex. Easy one. Well, that just might give Pallet some encouragement here. Needs a big score. Needs a couple of trouble 20s, but he's not going to get them. 59. And he can't find the 19s either. Yeah, grimace from his manager there, John. Well, welcome to life in the latter stages of big PDC tournaments, Dave Pallet. He's battled and he's fought and he's had a higher average than Kim Hybrex all the way through this one. Hit another four 180s to add to his tally this weekend. Look at that. Look at the averages. Pallet's been the better player, but it's not about the average. It's about taking out the right shot 60. at the right time. And Kim Hybrex has got himself down to a finish in this final leg. And Pallet has had a leg to forget. Maybe this is the way back into it. Maybe. 140. Well, the extra, extra treble there could have yeah. made a difference, a real difference. 102 would have been a very good position to be in. 59. Hybrex closing in. Mm -hmm. Just keep Hybrex under pressure. That's all he can do here. 86. Kim Hybrex should get at least 72. one match start. And it's going to be two. Double six last start in hand. Pallet shakes his head, but he 66. shouldn't have to because he's coming back to the Maybe board. Two match starts have been missed. Pallet should get two himself. Surely we're not going to have another situation like we had with Pallet and Norris earlier on this afternoon with 16 match mismatch starts between them. Tops for Pallet. He's in the so, semi finals. And the His manager's on his feet, Bunting has given it the fist bump. He has survived two more match darts against Kim Hybrex after the nine that Alan Norris wasted against him. And Dave Pallet, the surprise package of the weekend, goes through to face Chizzy, Dave Chisnell, for a place in the final here in Innsbruck. Let's grab a few words with him and then we'll crack on with the next half of the draw. Dave. <laughs> Congratulations. That was a close match, that was a fight, but you're through. First semi final in your life. <laughs> uh, I just seem to keep building and building on this weekend, so uh, I'm over the moon. Kim played a great game there, I, I played a decent game, so I was lucky in the end, you missed a couple of match starts, but you've got to take a win, wins a win at the end of the day. Is it difficult to, to keep that standard now? You're, you're not that experienced like the other players are? It's, it's all new to me. I mean, Coming back after the afternoon, went for a bit of lunch, then come back, and I was really, really nervous coming into the final. Oh, uh, well, to this game here. Uh, but I thought I dealt with it well, so hopefully I can deal with the next one just as well. Dave Chisnell is waiting. Yeah, me and Dave are good friends, so hopefully I can just play another decent game, and you never know how it's going to go. See you later again. Thank you very much. David Pellets. Netta